everybody. Today what we're going to do is learn how to use uh, R, or rather download and install R. So we will go to r-project.org, and this of course is for the Mac. So here we are at the R project for statistical computing. We're going to download this, and we want to click on CRAN, which is over on the left hand side. That actually stands for Comprehensive R Archive Network. Yes, I knew without looking at it. <laughs> okay, and you want to download it from a couple of different places. You have several options. Um, if you have a decent connection and um, you want to get the most up to date, you want to go to the connection in Austria, not the HTTPS, but the HTTP, please. Um, that's actually where R is stored and kept, and that will be the most up-to-date. Um, if you have a lousy uh, speed, lousy data plan, then scroll down, keep scrolling till you find a place in the United States, and you find the closest hit. As you see, there's there are two sites in Dallas, and um, you can use one of those. So if you happen to be traveling around and you're thinking, gee, I'd love to have... Um, are you can go to wherever you want. All right, um, as I mentioned, I tend to go with the Austrian one. I want to make sure everything is as up to date as possible. So I scroll back up, click on that, and I want to use download R for the Mac. So there's two things that we have to consider. Um, we have R 3.2.2 and when we're upgrading R a major upgrade, that is, is if it's going, say, from 3.1 something to 3.2 something, you want to reinstall X quartz. Okay? But it's real straightforward. The X quartz ties into how you generate your plots and things. So uh, click on that, just download it, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, then you. Uh, go to your R page and you want to use the R 3.2.2 as mentioned. You're going to download that and that's going to take a little while. So I'll make another movie and um, you just rest. <laughs> 